Hi, hello, hi. I'm Leander and I'm losing it. Those who know me know that I'm an overthinker. And on days when I overthink myself into corners, I think about things like mortality. I think about my family members who have passed and I genuinely cannot fathom how they will never be able to get to know me, nor I them. I think of my grandfather who loved records, my grandmother who passed, my two aunts, my two uncles, my brother, my father. I think about all of these people who genuinely will never get to know me. And then I get sad. And when I get sad, I rot in my bed for a very long time. But this is no such video. This is the video of how I get out of my bed rot. This is the video of how we go from whatever this hot mess is to a better, hotter mess, okay? That's for the overthinking girlies who genuinely grapple with having to do so much in their life and there's so much pressure and they don't feel like they're doing anything right. It's for those people. It's also for the broke girls because I'm living in my dream town, Cape Town. But honestly, the price of living has made me sort of just resent the idea of work and resent the idea of promised spaces and how I'm going to be able to navigate them. Um, that being said, capitalism will not get to win today. I have 50 rand in my budget that I'm willing to spend. I'm gonna have a good day, mama, so come with me. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, today I started off a little bit depressed and then I was like, let me do something that's fun, that just guaranteed no fail. It's my go-to plan for what am I gonna do today? And that's basically go window shop while wine tipsy. Uh, and serving looks. That's really, that's really what I'm trying to do. We're taking you with me. Where can I put the phone so I can serve the most amount of cut? <laughs> that's kind of my, my, my issue right now. We're gonna figure this out. No. Well, I tried. But today, I wasn't really feeling that well. Um, don't particularly know why. Um, I just know that when I you know, don't feel good, it's the thing that I just guaranteed to get me there. And one of them is going through shopping and, oh my god, antiquing when I'm poor. So I'm window shopping old things I can't afford. Something about that is amazing to me. I know. I know how it sounds. But I do that. First, we're gonna go get some wine. The expression goes when in Rome, but when is Africa being one of the eight highest producers of wine with 2,487 wine farms? Let's just say we love our wine. The real house of the Cape Wine Lines is proof of that. Now, as a wine crazy girly myself, I love serving looks at the wine aisle. I like looking distressed. I like bending down, looking at all the type of wines. I'd be reading them, Shannon's Girl. I'd be reading the Sauvignon Blanc, which is actually kind of my favorite at the moment. I love white wine, love red wine even more, but it's sort of white wine is like the house go to because my boyfriend loves it. And while I was at the store, I actually had this great conversation with the wine moms about like how driving is so dangerous and nobody needs a license these days. And I said, girl, I don't even have my license. Same. Uh To perceive people to perceive is to be people, perceived, and the stranger in the roadside was no stranger to that exact train of thought. They wondered where their strangers around them saw them for who they really were, who they could be, all their potential summed up into a mere experience of a fleeting roadside attraction. Hello, stranger. I am living. I am trying. One of my favorite stores to visit is Indango African Boutique on 19 Lower Main Road in Arbs. And let me tell you, as someone who's becoming a fashion icon in their own right, I mean, look, look at the material. I really, really just enjoy clothing, what it does for me. The more I think about it, the more I sort of think about like my expression, being tied to my gender, being tied to my sexuality and just being tied to my authenticness. I can't help but appreciate thrift culture and secondhand apparel. Some of these things I never buy though. It's like, I like that look for a lot of girlies. I'm just not one of them. Um, that being said, I don't know. There's something about secondhand apparel that feels very like with community. Um, the fact that like people 
that clothing becomes accessible. It's 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 really fun for me. And as a person who again with my body fluctuating a lot, like I love thrifting because I'm always like, you know what? It's 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 gonna be there with me for quite a while. Let me let me invest in some good shit. I will have to admit though that I wasn't just looking for like items I could buy for myself, I was looking for some Halloween costumes. I actually went as Myrtle Snow from American Horror Stories Halloween. I ate that shit up! But I was looking for like velvety stuff for witcher costumes for my lover. I hate Carter. But yeah, they wanted to go as like a voodoo type witch and that was the vibe. Look at these coats! I'm gonna come back for them. I'm gonna come back for you when I have money. Side note, I'm a whore for a mirror in a shop. I am a whore for it. It almost seems like the people in Arbor sort of given into the idea of being multi-talented because they curate their stores in such beautiful ways. The music is good, the art on the wall is good, the clothes are good, and the whole like neighborhood and thrift culture sort of seems like it's not much about purchasing and consumerism as it is about an experience, but that's just me. I'm looking for jeans. I think jeans are... I haven't had good jeans since. Stolen. In Riz. Um, this is a work of art. Damn, the thing's a work of art. Got you pressed against the wall. Against the wall. Girl, I've been all around the world, and you're the best of all. Damn, the thing's a work of art. So I know we about to get sketchy. Yeah, this is a very ghetto alley. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I was scared for my life back there, guys. I was scared, but it's cute. I just know one day when I have money, I'm gonna be just like randomly coming back. I'm like, oh my god, guess what I caught? And it'll be the most random, like, I don't know. I'll show you the things that they have. I think one of the favorite reasons I love antiquing is because, like, unlike other shops, these things are used. Like, people bought them, they were a part of stories, and like, that's a bit interesting because it's like, oh, like, oh, this is part of a home. There's a little clown person in there and they are amazing. Hi, little clown person. Hi. Um, this, this scene right here, this is tea. And in my own morbid way, I think about the people who must have owned these things, right? Like being that girl, the girl with the chandelier, the girl with the paintings out there, the girl who, you know, makes her own art and just puts it out there and then eventually you pass away and your family's like, this needs to go somewhere. Like, look at that. That's some Victorian baby shit. Like if I had a babe, if I had a baby, it's going to be rolling in this type of shit. It's going to be giving very much like Morticia Adams, very, very, very that. In a way to me it's like a museum if that makes sense like a lot of these things were owned by people and they sold them for god knows what different reasons and it's the sort of thing that they make those um like cursed object movies on because like you know i pick up some random book and it's like some talisman of, of faith and again a part of me is like we get so much art for free um and i love living in like um like a culturally rich um, place like South Africa so I mean I guess this is this is these are the fruits of our labor you know so the natural question becomes if we leave all of our earthly possessions behind when we leave what's the point of gathering them like why are we so obsessed with filling rooms with things that make us feel safe and make us feel wholesome and I don't know all I know for sure is that I'm the sort of person who seeks to fill my rooms with things that I like and it's something I want to continue to do and I guess think about as I grow older. And although there's aspects that I would just never really indulge in, like a collection of a tiny little smurfs, I do know I'm the type to collect maybe like, I don't know, Barbie dolls or something. Like spaces like this just remember that everyone has their own thing. I had the best day actually. I really, really did. I think, I think I look cute. I think. I think I like you and all of you should subscribe. Ding. That was fun for me. I actually don't think I'm sad anymore. I think I think I'm ready to live, laugh and love. I think I'm ready to achieve things, never 
achieved before by any individual if you like this video please like the video and actually turn on your notifications because i do be making some can you guys hear that echo oh, i think the wine is kicking in all this to say i'm really appreciative to be in a space that allows you to just spend like 50 rand and have a fun time because yeah it's a tough economy it's a tough economy it's a tough economy um hope you guys enjoyed the video and bye